Hey guys, welcome back to my new video and in today's video I'm going to tell you how I use my laptop for study. There are various things in my laptop which I use for study purposes. So without further ado, let's begin. So firstly, I've opened this Google screen and in Google screen here you can see there are Google apps right here. So in all of these Google apps, when you scroll, you have Google Sheets. Now this is the app which I used for my first study purpose. In the Google Sheets, I have a tab called my work record. In these, as you can see, I have a file. In this, first of all, these are all the subjects that I have in my school. And on the upper section, I have all the dates like 24th June, 25th June, 28th June, 29th June, 30th June, and then 1st July, 2nd July, all the dates according to the calendar from when my class is started. Then in that, I have different colors for different things. Green is for work, which I have already completed. Blue, no work was given on that day in yellow for broadcast class then red for the work which I have not completed till now and I need to complete like here in math on 24th I have completed my work on 25th I it was a broadcast class 28th 29th I have completed my work 30th I have uh, I had a broadcast class then in first I have not completed my work so I would complete my work of math and I'll do it in green label to see that I have completed my work but still I'm not completed it because I was busy somewhere so I will do it as red label the same is for all the subjects so this is the first thing which I use on my laptop for study purposes. This color code organization keeps my work record very organized and whenever I want to know which work I've not completed or submitted to man, I can quickly open this and start doing my work. So that's how it works. Now moving forward to the second thing which I use on my laptop. For example, I have my book open right here. I will open my book here and I'm going to make my notes with my book. So if my class is going on, for example, I'll go with a module introduction. I'm reading my book right now, but I want to make notes side by side and I don't have any notebook with me right now. So what I'll do is, on my Windows laptop, I have this technique. I'll do this like this and move it to down. This is called a split screen. Here I have one screen of my book and on the other side, I'm going to put a sticky note. Sticky note I use for in-class notes or even um, after-class notes, but basically sticky notes doesn't have my main notes which I revise during the exams or other things. Mostly notes are on paper, but I also have an application to make notes on my laptop, which I'll tell you in the number three. So I've opened the sticky notes right here, as you can see, and I've made some in-class notes too. And I'll put it like this in the other section of my split screen. So this is half of the sticky notes you can see here. Just a minute. So yeah, so the first section is of my textbook, the second section is of my sticky notes for in-class notes and on this third section you can put your class. So guys, in this layout you can have your class here arranged like that. So you're just listening to your teacher around and you're reading your book at the same time and you don't need your physical book to keep around you. And when you're reading your book or you need to make some in-class notes, you can simply write anything you. Also in sticky notes you have various types of colors to choose from, like you could use pink, it is also white color, or you could use any of these colors. It also has a notes list which includes all of your notes here. As you can see, I have various notes like I've made um, during the classes or after class notes. So there's so many different notes. Also, it, it allows you to bold, italic, underline, or, you know, strike through your text. It also has bullet marks to keep your text organized. And you can also add an image. So overall, Sticky Notes is a great application for making in-class notes. And Split Screen Method is a great method to use your book, class, and notes at the same time. So guys, moving forward to our third part. Third part is about making notes and seriously guys while making notes in my laptop i have two main important applications which i use basically so first of them is google keep google keep is an application made by google just like google sheets google keep is also an application and you can use it on with the same idea as on your laptop as well as on your phone so in this you can make checklists for the day you can make another notes and if you guys want to see one of my notes then here it is these are of my astronomy class and in this you can see i've added picture to label it it's called solar system here are some text notes which i've added in it about stellar system and so so on in here i have my handwritten notes now obviously you cannot write handwritten notes in your laptop so i've written these in other device and they're also visible on the laptop and i can also edit them on my laptop so these all are some handwritten notes i'll make till now of the astronomy class so overall i recommend google key because it is great for making checklists text notes or other kinds of notes i'll tell you how to make if you want to make a checklist you can click on this new list and you can add a number of lists you can change the color if you text box to keep yourself um you know like organized and then you can add images to it archive it or you can add a label add drawing and high checklists in label you can label a few things like what is it about in when you want to add a drawing you can just click on the drawing and you can add anything for example why do you need the drawing uh, um, drawing part of this application the reason is like if you're studying about solar system you can basically make a solar system like here as a sun and then all these planets just a rough drawing and then you can take back you know to your notes like this and then after that also you can add some text notes in it so it's overall great like after that you can add some text notes to it so it's overall great for me but i basically use the checklist option for giving my day organized moving forward to the next part the next app which i use is called microsoft notebook it is also a great application and i recommend it a lot because microsoft notebooks is um you know overall basically an application for getting your notebooks from 
hard copy to soft copy. So in this, there are several notebooks, like I have my astronomy notebook, mathematics notebook, science notebook, and social science notebook. If you want to add, you can click a new notebook and just click on here, and you can name the notebook. I'm just naming it demo because I'm making it demo in the video. Moving forward, you can click on the create option button here, and once you click on the create button, so just click on the create button, and the notebook will be automatically created. So it approximately takes 10 to 15 seconds to create a notebook because it has to load all the data and everything. So as you can see here, the notebook is created by the name demo. And if you want to change the name, you could also change it whenever you want. Moving forward, this is how the first screen looks like. Here you can, like, this is my notebook demo. And in that, this is my first section. Um, like, if you have a notebook and you turn it into different sections, so you can, you know, give them different titles. So this is my group notes section here. I can rename the section to class notes or after class notes. So if I rename it as after class notes so this section of my notebook will create, uh, have all my after class notes so for example if you take it as my mathematics notebook i can just rename the page as so this page in this section is chapter one so in my notebook demo i have after class notes section and in the section i have first page saying chapter one and in this you can add different notes here but it's not just about you know writing or adding the text it has so many options you guys it has so many options first of all it has styles option to get your headings um subheadings titles codes everything you want to add then it has a tax bar here you can see this is the tax bar and then in it you can add so many different important tags like to do you can add this to do tag to make a checklist an important tag to highlight important information in your notes question tag to mark the questions in your note or notes and then remember for later definitions highlight there's so many of them after that, you have a spell check, height spelling errors, all these options are also there. And the next here is dictate, means whatever notes you like, you can obviously hear them. It is so more convenient for me to use this dictate option. It is so easy and so amazing. So moving forward after the dictate option is the feed option. So here you can see I just clicked on the dictate option and whatever I'm speaking is getting typed. And it's so convenient. Like if I want to just type my notes, I'll just, just a minute guys, I'll stop it. And I'm clearing it. Now, whatever I speak will be added here. Let's see. Chapter 1. Okay, guys, I don't know what the error is, but it's just typing again and again. Okay, now I'm going to start. Chapter 1. Notes 1. To summarize the chapter, we can say there is an, a corrector, and the corrector wanted to go in there. So, whatever I'm speaking, it's just typing. So, I do not even need to type. And it's not stopping even. I wanted to stop. Okay, guys, so you just finally stop. Now moving forward, so the next option here is called as feed option and in this feed option there are several multiple options which you could use but I don't use them much because I just want to keep my notes like they are. Basically it has um, a section for inserting different ideas but I don't want it. Then you have all these options which you have in all the apps like that. And then this is a new option in one note. It is called as draw and in these you can draw whatever you want like I said about solar system in keep notes so you can add it that way well, that also. For example I've written here astronomy and i it's a heading for me like after that i have so many tags and i want astronomy to look different from them so i could basically use this highlighter option right here and get it to yellow and then i could just highlight the astronomy because i want it to look different it's um it, it can be used if you don't want to highlight normally but it is really great because that way you could color code them easily so i'm using different colors and i'm just colorizing them so that's how you can see you could simply highlight and you could also write anything with the highlighter that's also great actually so after that you have a view option in which you have immersive reader now immersive reader it reads all your notes when you're revising for your notes so you can just simply listen to that so look at the astronomy jk and k listen so whatever I have written, it's speaking. It's again very convenient because you know um, when I'm revising for my notes, I don't need to read them all by myself, and I can also choose some page colors here like that. And there are also page versions, like different versions according to your different notes. So that's all I use for Microsoft OneNote. And now the video is getting too long, so yeah, I would like to just quickly tell you two more. Um, applications or websites which I use. So the first one out here is called the Microsoft To Do. Now it is a great application for your to-do list or anything else. So you just need to open it. So here you can add your task like if I want to get up early so I can add the task and then I do that task so you can just click in you can mark it as completed. So that's where you can use Microsoft To Do. Now another application is Google Calendar. So yeah in Google Calendar you can simply plan your days like I'll show you I've planned some days like um, I plan some days in June. So here you can see I plan my days that way you could plan your day simply you could just click here and get an event title also get, give it a different color and just save it that way you could just plan what all you have in the day like your classes and your work so that's it for today's video guys and if you find all these apps and websites useful please like this video and subscribe my channel so bye bye